Hello, Mayor John Tory here. The first Tuesday in April every year, we celebrate the City of Toronto Family Caregiver Day. Today is a day where Torontonians are encouraged to recognize the contributions of caregivers in our city and to demonstrate our support and our appreciation for their incredible efforts. Every year, but this year in particular, I encourage you to join me in paying tribute to caregivers for their compassion and for the critical role that they play in the lives of their loved ones. This past year has been challenging for us all, we know that, and I know the support of family caregivers has been crucial to improving the experience and the whole quality of life of many people who live in this city. Today you'll hear from a few of them, a few caregivers themselves, as they talk about their experience and their resilience, particularly through this pandemic year. I want to thank them for taking the time to share their important stories with us and, of course, for what those stories are all about, the wonderful things that they've done to support others in their own families. And I'd like to thank all caregivers for their commitment, for their love, for their compassion that they show to our city and to its residents. It's been an important part of what's got us through this pandemic, is Torontonians supporting each other, whether they're related or not. People have stepped forward to support each other and to help each other, and that's been a big part of why we've been able to get through this very, very difficult period. So thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, caregivers. My name is Caroline Alloway, and I've been a caregiver for my husband for the past 11 years. He was supposed to have one operation with a three-month recovery to replace his ankle. But due to a recurring infection, that one operation turned into 10 over seven years. During that time, he also developed congestive heart failure and gastro issues from all the antibiotics. More recently, we've started his cancer journey. Every caregiver has a story. Normally, we would be meeting at City Hall to greet and pay tribute to you in person. But of course, COVID has prevented us from doing so. This year's theme is caregiver resilience during COVID, which is certainly appropriate. Often family caregivers are invisible and overlooked for the heroes you are every day of the year. This past year has added a whole other dimension for you to navigate. But because of COVID, Caregivers have been recognized as the essential care partners they are in health and social care. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this tribute to your hard work and ability to get through adversity with grace and determination. Our speakers today will shine a light on caregivers and share their experiences. My name is James Pasternak, Councillor Ward 6, York Centre, City of Toronto. It is both an honour and a pleasure to congratulate the family caregivers across our city. You are doing great work in the homes, helping seniors and others who have various issues and challenges and need your support. It is a noble cause that we at the City of Toronto appreciate because we, its government, cannot do it alone. Once again, thank you very much and congratulations. Currently, I'm the primary caregiver for my husband, uh, who has been uh, diagnosed with panic attacks, anxiety attacks, and uh, early stage dementia. He has an ongoing uh, diabetic uh, issue as well, uh, issues with his uh, kidneys not really uh, optimally functioning. COVID-19 has really impacted uh, the way I care for my husband in many ways. Uh, firstly, because um, uh, simple things like, you know, providing the right kind of food for him and uh, being able to go uh, shopping, the right kind of groceries, everything was shut down. I couldn't take him for his doctor's appointment. It's impacted in a huge way. It's impacted in the way I think about caregiving. It's impacted uh, my day-to-day -day living, his day-to-day -day living, even his grooming couple of things that kept me going. One was my family. Like I said, my son-in-law and my daughter, uh, they moved pretty close to where I was because of the COVID. 
and my son-in-law used to take me out every week uh, me and my husband and long car rides so that you know at least he gets to see the outside world and my daughter used to tell me she goes grocery shopping and i go to her house for grocery shopping so she did all the grocery <laughs> shopping for me and uh, that is from uh, from the family and of course whatsapp groups my friends from different parts of the world my family from uh, from in india my mom in india so family and friends was a huge huge uh, uh, source of support Hello everyone, this is Josh Matlow. Happy Family Caregiver Day. Even though we can't physically be together this year, we are still together and you are not alone. I know how difficult it can be even in normal times to provide the supporting care for our loved ones. And during this pandemic, it has been really difficult. Sometimes not knowing if we would unintentionally put our loved ones at risk and in many cases, not being able to hold the person's hand, give them a hug, and be there for them in the way that we would have liked to. It can be lonely, it can be isolating, it can be incredibly challenging. But it's also deeply rewarding because we're providing the love and care to the people in our lives who we care about the most. On behalf of everyone in our community in our city, I just wanted to thank you for what you do remind you that you are not alone. We are in this together. And I look forward to hopefully next year coming together in person to celebrate each other, to support each other, and hopefully share a few hugs when it's safe and possible to do so again. My name is Willow and I'm 10 years old. Um, I care for my brother, Hunter. He's 13 and he was diagnosed with ALA leukemia. When he was four, he finished his treatment. Um, and as one of the side effects, he has chronic pain. COVID-19 has impacted um, the ways I care for Hunter, uh, just because like um, school is closed and that's my only break from caring for my brother. Um, and especially in COVID when we're like always together. Um, and sometimes because we're together all the time, it's really, really stressful. And sometimes you just kind of, like, you need to get away from caring. Even while we're together, I can take a break from caring by like reading a book alone or just like kind of laying down um, or even watching a show sometimes um, or having a bubble bath even or going outside, um, we have a trampoline, so sometimes like you can just jump in that or lay in it and just like look up at the sky. Um, and it's almost summer. I've been doing um, during COVID our y is YCP, which is the Young Cares program. Um, it's really amazing and I love it so much. Um, and also Camp Boot and Camp Trillium, um, really awesome. And they've been doing some online programming too. Thank you to all our speakers and to the folks who organized this day for us to enjoy. If you have care questions, call Ontario Caregiver Helpline 1-833-416-2273, which is open 24 seven, or 211, services for information and links to support. All of these services are available to help with whatever questions you may have, either for your loved one or services for yourself. I know how difficult it is to find the help you need and how hard it is to ask for help. I urge you to reach out. I salute your resiliency and wish you all the best. Thank you for joining us today, and I look forward to seeing you in person at next year's celebration.